Welcome back. In the 1980s, a young Craig Ferguson came to Glasgow's Tron Theatre to launch his showbiz career. Twenty years later, Craig returns to the same stage to show his countrymen how little he's accomplished. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Tron Theatre in Glasgow, Scotland, where my, uh, with Geoffrey Peterson and myself and my first guest, the biggest entertainer in Scotland, the Scottish, I think it's fair to say the Scottish Elvis. Is that right, Jeff? Oh, indeed. <laughs> the great Fred Macaulay, everybody, yeah. Fred Macaulay. <laughs> Fred. Hello, Fred. I'm very well. Are you st you're still you. Scottish? I'm doing OK, thanks yeah. very much, yes. <laughs> only, only because you, you left the country. And I, pick, I picked up the Craig Ferguson gigs. Well, well, I wasn't making any money when I was here, or am I making any money? I read in Scottish papers that I make £16 million a year. Punch it in! Yeah, yeah, I don't. 18? No! 20? Yes, £20 million a year. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> But you do, you do the show on the BBC. I do. Don't I you have to talk like this on the BBC? You yes, have to talk I, like that. I have to wear a bow tie. Yes. Uh, a tartan bow tie, as it happens. Tartan bow tie, or we call it plaid oh, in America. Plaid, OK. Yeah. I'll need to do that. If I ever want to get citizenship, I'll need to change tartan to plaid, I guess. Yeah, you have to change tartan to plaid, and you have to never say fanny again. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Can I...? <laughs> That's not a rude word in America, it's not. but it's a very rude uh, word here. You know, I've waited decades to say, what a lovely fanny. Yeah. <laughs> what I like to say in America is, oh, just give her a pat in the fanny on the way out. Half of the audience are hoping they might get a pat in the fanny tonight. <laughs> well, they might. It's an open bar after the show. <laughs> Can I just say, years ago, mm -hmm. when I was starting to do stand-up, we did a gig only about 200 yards from here. Oh, and yes. afterwards, you said to me, Fred, do you fancy having a beer? Oh, yes. And I did. And I didn't know that you drank quite so much. I did, that's true, Fred. And I made a little mistake that night. You did, yes. I tried to keep up. Yes, you did, yeah. And I learned something that night. You're not an alcoholic? I'm not an alcoholic. You're not an alcoholic, yeah. I learned that if you're sick in a taxi, it costs you 40 pounds. No, really? <laughs> You didn't know that? I didn't know that. Well, I may be able to help you. Because we are at the end of our segment, but I can offer you either an awkward pause or the chance to win a big cash prize, which may be enough for you to get drunk on the way home, be sick in a taxi and pay for it. That is tempting, but can we go for the awkward pause? Certainly. <laughs> it wasn't awkward to begin with, but it is now. <laughs> help but get the feeling that a Scottish audience really enjoys an awkward pause. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of makes them feel like they're at home. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot to be awkward there for a minute. Remember we started talking again and ruined it. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, that was pretty good. I've got 50 pounds here, so uh, go and get drunk and throw up in the taxi. Yeah, Fred McCauley, everybody, Fred McCauley. Yeah. We'll be right back. Yeah. To see more of The Late Late Show in Scotland, visit cbs.com slash scotland.